Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Russell Brunson. Welcome back to the Marketing Secrets Podcast. Um, today, I want to share something that's almost like a part two from a podcast a couple days ago. Um, I shared with everybody how I am doing some of my traffic secrets. I'm out publishing every day. I'm out working my way on tons of platforms. And a lot of people have said, oh, well, of course, that's you, Russell. Um, but does it work for other people? So that's what I'm talking about today. So the big question is this. How are entrepreneurs like us, who didn't cheat and take on venture capital, who are spending money from our own pockets, how do we market in a way that lets us get our products and our services and the things that we believe in out to the world and yet still remain profitable? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Russell Brunson, and welcome to Marketing Secrets. All right, my friends. So... Um, there's this weird thing, and you're, if, you, if you don't have it yet, you'll find it when you start trying to teach or educate people, and it's a frustrating thing because um, all the time uh, when you share something that you did or you're doing or whatever, um, people will always think because you are you that you are superhuman, despite the fact that you are very human, despite the fact that I'm very human. In fact, um, it's, it's interesting because, um, uh, you know, I... I it's just funny because like I'm like the most normal person of all time. And people are like, well, you're Russell Brunson, so blue. I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, I'm Russell Brunson. Just means that I've been doing it. I've just been following the process. I believe. It. Like, I'm not skeptical. I don't think. Oh, I wonder if this is. Real. Like, I just do it, and I just do it, and I keep on doing it. And uh, so, to the, you know, the, I think the last episode I talked about how I'm literally practicing what I preach. I said, go and work your way in. And then now that my book is launched, I'm working my way, and I'm doing, you know more podcast interviews in the last week than most people do in their entire lifetime. And it wasn't hard. And like, well, it's not hard because you're Russell. It's like, no, you don't understand. You're missing the point. So I found an example. One of my friends, his name's Eric Laughlin. And, uh, and um, uh, he, January of this year, he posted something. I was like January 1st. And, um, and um, anyway, I was doing a group. I was doing a, uh, a presentation for my ClickFunnels Collective group. This is our highest level uh, coaching clients. And uh, I did a big presentation, so I'm not going to share all of it, but there's just one slide I want to share because I think hopefully it'll, it'll get the, the wheels in your head spinning like, oh my gosh, it's not just Russell, it's for everybody, including me. That's the goal. So if you say this is for me, for including me, then I've done my, my job for this, for this episode. So Eric Laughlin on January 2nd this year, uh, he said, gave speech number one of 2020, shooting for 550 speeches this year. And um, I was like, that's pretty cool. And then um, the, next, the next picture I showed was on January 4th. He said, my goal this year is to do 550 speeches. So far, I have been posting my year-to-date results. I have, I've had two people reach out to me to book me. Yay, no speeches today. I'm at seven for the year so far. A few people might have, have asked me what my definition of a speech is. Here it is. I talk, a talk that reaches two or more people. And this, so that's his, his definition of a speech is a talk that reaches two or more people. He said, this includes the following guest speakers, a guest speaker at a sales meeting, delivering a seminar, being on a podcast, delivering a webinar, delivering a keynote or corporate training. Um, and he said, if you want me to do talk, let me know. Okay. So that's his goal. He said, my goal is to do 550 speeches this year. And his goal, the definition of the speech is when talking to two people or more at a time. Okay, so that's January 4th. Then January 6th, he said, I'm in, I'm all in on my goal for 2020. Here are the results for today. Delivered five speeches, had nine coaching calls, booked two speeches, created four pieces of content, delivered one sales presentation, added two new members of my team. My speech goal this year is 550 for the year. I'm at 12 speeches so far, year to date. Then January 8th, he says, three speeches today so far, reached um, uh, 18 speeches so far, year to date. And then January 9th, three speeches today, 22 speeches year to date, 550 speeches is my goal. Uh, January 13th, six speeches today, 32 year to date, 550 for the goal. And then January 14th, eight speeches today, um, and then 40 speeches month to date. And then January 15th, three speeches today, 43 speeches today. Uh, January 16th, gave five speeches today, 48 year to date. Then January 17th, two speeches today, 50 year to date. Uh, and then January 20th, five speeches today, 55 years to date. And then January 21st, seven speeches, 62 years to date. And it keeps going, right? January 23rd, three more speeches, 68 year to date. January 22nd, three more speeches, 65 year to date. January 24th, six speeches today, 74 year to date. January 27th, I keep, I'm going to go through January, just so you can see. So four speeches today, 78 year to date. And then that's January. So the first 30 days, he had 78 speeches year to date. Okay. Uh, and then it goes on in the presentation I showed, then I showed February and I went all the way through March. And by the last slide I had in March, uh, he had 202 by March 19th. Okay. I'm sharing this because 
Um, what Eric did and what I think all of us need to be doing and I'm doing, so I'm, I'm, I'm already on the bandwagon, you know, and in fact, let me step back. I always talk about how like you should be publishing every day, right? And publishing is you're publishing to your existing audience, right? You're posting a YouTube video day or a podcast today or a blog post today. Like that should be happening no matter what. But I think the the thing that I've, I've kind of done as a disservice is, is step one is you're, like, you're publishing stuff. But step number two is you have to promote what you're publishing. So how do I promote that? We have to get it out in front of new people so they can come into your world, right? So what Eric's doing is he's going out each day and he's doing a presentation somewhere to get people to come back into his world so they can see what he's publishing on his own in his own world, right? He's going out and and um and so uh, if you think about that, like that's that's the thing. Like you're giving these speeches or these present or these interviews, whatever you want to call them, to get people to come back into your world, to come back into your funnels. So that way you can get them to join your list, right? Or follow you on YouTube or Instagram or, or subscribe to your podcast, whatever it is. And then you can do your daily publishing. So it's kind of a two-step fold. You're publishing daily, right? To build the relationship with your audience, but then you're out there giving presentations to other people's audiences to get those people like a magnet into into your into your world, onto your list, into your, your thing, right? I mean, think about this right now. Like we... Um, with the traffic secrets launch, I've probably done, uh, I don't know, 40, let's say 40, who knows, maybe more, maybe less, 40 interviews from those 40 interviews. We've sold 30,000 copies of the book, um, more than that now, but around 30,000 copies. Right. And obviously there's other things like we emailed our own list. Um, you know, we were buying ads and stuff like that, but a lot of it, like I would, I would say my, my guess is at least a third of those sales have come from me going out there and talking to other people's, other people's platforms giving speeches, giving presentations, uh, doing interviews, things like that to get people back into my world. And if it wasn't for that, if it was just me emailing my own list, like I don't think I would have got past 10,000 books sold to my own customer list, right? And so two thirds of these sales have come from you know paid ads, which is probably a third of it. And then me going out there and doing these things is the other third, working my way in, giving presentations, giving speeches. And so um, I want to share like, so that, again, it's it's backup of what I just said earlier, but second off, it's someone else, Eric Lawholm, who's um, you know he's been doing sales training for a long time, and he set a goal. I'm going to go out every single day this year and try to give a speech. His goal is 550 speeches. So that's more than one a day. Um, I think as I was reading some of his other uh, Facebook posts, it was interesting. He was talking about like you know at first it was really hard, and they started getting momentum. He's like, man, every time I, I do a speech, I get three other people ask me to do a speech, and then I do that speech, I get two other people, and then it just starts growing and snowballing. And he said, even when I told people on my Facebook page, I'm doing a speech, I'm doing 550 speeches this year. He's like, when I told people my goal. He's like, then people started messaging me and like, oh, do you want to do a speech to my people? And like, yeah, sure, right? I think part of this also is coming back to what we keep talking about, which is your dream 100. Like get your dream 100 and then go to these people and say, look, I, I want to do a presentation. Can I do a presentation for you today? And start getting those people and pulling them back in. So anyway, I hope that helps because I, I want you guys thinking about that. Not just I'm publishing every day, but I'm going out and I'm giving presentations, speeches, whatever you want to call them, to get people from these other other people's followings into my world. I'm promoting my own content. I'm promoting my squeeze page. I'm promoting my stuff. I'm working my way in. Th- a thousand ways you can call. I call it working your way in. Um, Eric calls it doing speeches. Uh, it's the same thing though. It's going out there to people who don't know who you are, giving presentations and then pulling them back into your world. Okay. And this is the way you can go out and you're basically, I mean, right now in this this crazy economy, it's funny because everyone's so scared to sell. Um, I'm seeing people who are scared to death. I think they're going to offend someone by selling. I'm like, look, Look at it differently. Look at it. You're going out to serve. You're going to these, to these different congregations. You're giving a presentation. You're serving. You're allowing people to come back to learn more. And from there, they opt into your, to your, um, to your squeeze page or they're registering for your webinar. They're subscribing to your podcast or following you on YouTube, whatever it is. And you're giving, you're serving. Like in the time right now, people need it. You're able to go out there with your voice and serve and get people in. And then after they're in, now you have a chance to continue to serve them, help them. And then from there, you can sell them your products, your services. But because you led with service, you led with giving a presentation, pulling them back, giving them daily content, like all the things we've been talking about for forever. Um, now when you ask for the sell, it's like, man, this guy gives so much. This girl gives me so much. Like, yes, I'm willing to, to give that money. I'm not mad about it. I'm happy about it. Like this person serving their face off. Um, yes, I will definitely invest my money with them versus somebody else. So anyway, just a, just a fun way to look at it. Um, so if you get nothing else from this, um, in fact, you know what, I'm, I'll tell you a story. So when I was, I remember back in the day, um, this is probably a decade ago, uh, article marketing was the thing. Right? You just write articles, you post some article directories and would drive traffic to you. And I remember because when I learned that, and it doesn't work today, so at least not like it used to, so don't, don't 
quote me like this is a traffic secret. It's not. Um, but it was like a loophole that we had for a while in the search engines. And so um, we built a team where we were publishing 10, 20, 30 articles a day, right? If I get art, traffic from articles, I need to get as many articles as possible. And I remember I was at this mastermind meeting and, uh, and this guy got on stage and he's talking about he's not getting traffic. And, and um, he's like, I'm trying everything. I tried article marketing, I tried everything. And I asked him, I said, how many articles a day do you publish? And he looked at me and he said, Based on the way you asked that question, I know I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I go, what do you mean? He's like, I've published two. And I'm like, ever? He's like, yeah. He's like, I, I, was, I was doing article marketing. I published two articles and, and I didn't get any traffic. I said, that's the problem. I said, you know, and the question again is how many articles a day are you publishing? Okay, so my question for you is like, if you're like, oh, I tried to get interviews and, and I didn't get any many leads or many traffic from you. The question would be like, well, how many, how many podcasts a day are you on? Okay, does that shift, does that shift perspective for you? I'm glad that Eric Laughlin, that he didn't send, you know, say my goal is to sell 300 or do 365 presentations. That's meant I got to do one a day. He said 550, right? Which is more than that. So that means I need to do more than one a day. Okay. And all of a sudden you do that. It's like, ah, your brain starts looking for opportunities. How do I do it? How do I, you know, after each presentation, man, I need, I need more presentations. Maybe I, at the end of my presentation, I say, if anyone wants me to do a presentation like this to your list or to your company, let me know. And then all of a sudden opens up another door and another door. Um, but when you ask a different question, um, you get a way different answer. So how many podcasts, how many interviews, how many speeches did you give today? That's my question for you. All right, with that said, appreciate you guys. Hope you got something from this. Um, keep pushing. Now's the time to serve. People are waiting for you. Go out there and talk and share and serve. And if you do that, they will come to you and they will follow you. They're, everybody right now is silently begging to be led. That's what Jay Brown said. And they are looking for you. So don't be quiet. Be loud right now. It's the time. They're waiting for you. Thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. This is Russell again. And really quick, I wanted to invite you to join um, arguably the best thing that we've ever put out inside the ClickFunnels community. And it is a challenge we call the One Funnel Away Challenge. You know, everyone in their business, in their life, they're one funnel away from something. Some of you guys are one funnel away from quitting your job. Some of you guys are one funnel away from getting more impact. Some of you guys are a funnel away from growing your company to the next level. Um, and so we created this challenge to help you to create and launch your first or your next funnel. No matter where you are in your business, um, this challenge is gonna help you. It's gonna help you understand the strategy, help you understand the tactics, help you understand all the things you need to be successful with your funnel. So uh, what I recommend you do right now is stop everything, pause this audio, go uh, online and go to onefunnelaway.com. That's onefunnelaway.com and join the next challenge. There's a challenge starting in the next few days, so go get started right now, onefunnelaway.com.